Hey guys, my name is Isaac. Um, I haven't made a video like this before, but um, I was looking for some information about out there uh, on the internet and didn't see a whole lot as far as strategy. Um, I've been playing the game for a couple weeks and um, been having trouble actually completing the game and um, learned quite a bit along the way. So uh, as I went out and looked for strategy guides and, and tips and tricks, uh, I didn't find a whole lot. So I figured it was worth my time to uh, do a first recording of a game and um, see if there's anything that I can help uh, help out with. So um, I'm kind of looking for in, in two ways for this video. Uh, one, hopefully share some information that may not be out there for you. And then two, um, there may be somebody that's been playing this game that can see uh, something I'm doing wrong and, and can share it with me in the comments. So definitely uh, go ahead and comment on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick start start a new game here and kind of explain how I play the game. Um, I don't pay attention very much to the types of stars. Um, I've been marking down um, what I've come across through each different type of star and it, it's pretty random so um, I just hit up as many stars as possible. So. Uh, I'll go ahead and read a little bit of this. Uh, space folder broke down and was briefly uh, electrocuted. Not by electricity, but by the mysterious energy that conveys hydrogen into other forms of energy. My senses were dazzled, and whilst the space folder exploded in my mouth like spicy caramel and the light, its pulsating tubes felt soft like cotton. Can't imagine how hard it is to fix anything in this condition. Even now, two hours later, I bumped my head and instead of feeling pain, I heard the choir of angels. So not a whole lot happened. Um, I'm gonna probably skip over most of those. Um, and I'm not gonna read them verbatim, but um, let me jump right into where I do uh, when I when I get to a system. Uh, first thing, depending on what I need, uh, usually it's fuel. So um, let me go ahead and take a look and see what I have. This is the generic stuff you start off with. Um, each one of these hydrogen uh, hydrogen uh, give you two fuel. Uh, as you can see, I have 74 fuel, so this will get me up to 94. Uh, I'll go ahead and just dump it in there right away. Then we go back to the system here. Um, let's see if we can get some more fuel. And uh, I've got this gas giant. Let's go ahead and orbit it. Uh, this is one thing that as I watched people play the game and read about it that I struggled with. So uh, when you probe... Uh, you have to have a probe in your inventory and you have to select the depth that you're going to probe into the planet so I usually go with six uh, and go ahead and launch it 18 hydrogen is pretty good um, it's not the best but it's, it's sort of middle of the road so I'll go ahead and pocket that and um, whenever you uh, you land in one of these gas giants you're going to want to continue to probe this until you're you're totally out the, the planet's totally exhausted so uh, it's kind of use your judgment on the second probe. Um, I like to go about half on the second probe, so let me go ahead and launch it. Uh, I got three. Um, I will continue to probe. So if I go down to one, um, this is going to yield at least one hydrogen. Um, if you ran into a gaseous planet that had hydrogen and helium, uh, if it had, if you probe one, you're going to get one helium and one hydrogen. Uh, which is which is a pretty good thing considering you're only spending one fuel to get it um, So let me go ahead and launch the probe as you can see I only got one hydrogen um, As I mentioned before when I was in my ship's inventory one hydrogen uh, Equals two fuel so I spent one I got two essentially so uh, it's worth to continue to launch one probe at a time um, And it could be a bit tedious uh, but it's it's worth to launch a, a single probe at a time and collect one heal or hydrogen each time so I'm going to continue to do that. What I'll find here is I believe I'm going to run out uh, once I get up to 10 hydrogen in the stack. No, it's going to continue to go. That's, uh, that's good. And then eventually you'll get, there's nothing left to drill. So it was definitely worth continuing to put out those the one fuel probes because you get two fuel back essentially until the planet runs out. So, go ahead and finish. Um, I'm gonna go 
ahead and dump some of this fuel in. That's good for now. And let's go back to the system here. So um, when you start in the early game and you go into these gaseous planets, you're going to lose a lot of hull. Um, the ship you start with doesn't have much shielding protection, so you need to get some iron in early game. I do have some here. Um, one of the early mistakes I made was to just dump the iron directly in. Um, you don't want to do that. You want to keep uh, some iron on hand um, because it's used to repair a lot of the equipment you have. So uh, you want to do a split, keep around four or five, and then the rest of it you can dump in to repair your ship. Uh, let me go back and jump in here and um, go ahead and land on this planet. This is a place that allows me to uh, go ahead and drill. Um, let's see here, just a second. And we'll go ahead and drill. Usually I do five or six uh, on a planet like this. You want to look for a lot of iron. Unfortunately, I didn't get much, um, but I did get uh, some tungsten, uh, which would be helpful. Uh, and in building other components, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off. I don't usually don't re-drill on one of these rocky planets unless I really need iron. Um, if it, if you get higher high iron on the first drill, uh, it's sometimes worth spending a little bit of fuel to get some more iron. It just really depends on how you're doing uh, on your hull and in what your ship, uh, how good your shields are in your ship. So I've explored all the planets in this system, so I'm going to go ahead and move on. Um, I like to hit up almost all all the uh, different stars. Uh, reason being is there's a couple points uh, in the game where um, it's sort of, I don't know if you call them chapters, but there's a point in the game where um, if you advance far enough along in the system, in the universe, in the stars, you end up to a point where they really take a bunch of uh, a bunch of resources away from you so uh, let's see here what do we have all right looks like uh, I got some some hull repairs so that's good I needed that uh, said early game fuel is big early game irons big so let me go ahead and dump in the fuel that I have and top it off here um, we've got another gaseous planet here so I'm going to orbit it Let's go ahead and probe to six again, like I did last uh, last solar system. This time, not a whole lot of hydrogen. Um, when you get 13-ish like this, you're going to want to drop down to maybe two or one. Uh, two uh, is fine because you'll get two hydrogen. Uh, but beyond that, when you have that low on the first drill, you're going to want to just continue to do the ones. Um, I'm probably going to get 20 hydrogen total off of this planet. Um, so see here there's 20 21 and that's it 23 so I am in better shape than I was when I first got here uh, but I'm certainly not uh, certainly didn't set the world of fire on there so let's go ahead and take a look here as far as I have not a lot of iron. Um, I think it's probably worth landing on this rocky planet to see if I can get some more iron. And that was not good. That was not very good. So that's all right. I'll go ahead and take off, burn through more of my resources, dump that oxygen in while I have it. Dump in the rest of this hydrogen. Let me um, split my iron here. Put the rest of that in. And it's time to move on. Let's go to this next yellow dwarf. Looks like I ran across some pure alcohol. So it wants me to know if I should fill tubes while I'm considering how to escape the situation. Um, 
I believe I've done power the engines before and it causes an explosion so let me just some cargo um, I'm not sure what it's gonna end up uh, dropping but some silicon and uh, tungsten not, not a big deal all right this is our first opportunity for me to talk about um, the uh, garden planet so uh, depending on what you have for resources uh, it, it may be worth landing on these planets um, being able to speak to the alien life uh, is important so I'm gonna go ahead and orbit it uh, and I'm gonna land um, it fills up your oxygen which is a good thing um, and I'm gonna go ahead and encounter life uh, until you gather more of the vocabulary this stuff's just gonna be nonsense so it's just a shot in the dark so I'm gonna go ahead and just set approve um, if you can pick the right one they ask for a resource um, the only thing I can really offer up is iron right now so let's see if they're interested uh, and yeah they were interested so if you're able to hit those those are really really big in the game you get an Omega which I'll explain here in a second but you learn several different words in the vocabulary this will help you later on, obviously, when you talk to more aliens. Um, probably the biggest part is that you learn a new technology. These are kind of hard to come by um, and really can help your game. So um, I was able to gain all that uh, with only having to spend one iron, essentially. When you land on these planets, you have an opportunity to drill. Um, you got to be careful. you got to make sure you've got enough open slots for it to be worth it. So I've got lots of open slots. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit of fuel here and see if I can get some um, some good uh, uh, minerals. I got uh, some copper, I got some um, carbon, and some oxygen. Uh, copper is not necessarily rare, but it'll become in handy lady, later. These other two are not as important. I'm going to go ahead and um, take off here. And I believe that wraps up this system. We move on here. As you can see I'm getting low on, uh, low on fuel. Well, looks like I got lucky. Uh, I ran into 50 fuel, so that was very timely. Um, again, whenever you see fuel, you see gas giants, you're going to want to hit those up. They're going to be really important. Um, as a, again, uh, you're going to want to continue to probe this planet until it's totally exhausted. So start off with six. This is this is a great planet. We've got hydrogen and we got helium. Both are very good. Um, hydrogen gives you two fuel. Helium is excellent. It gives you four fuel. So whenever you run across a planet with helium, you're going to want to uh, tap that as much as possible. So uh, because that return was pretty decent, I'm going to jump down to three. Um, I'm surprised I only got one of each. Uh, one of the things that's nice about launching one uh, one fuel probe like now is you're going to get one helium and one hydrogen each time. So what that equates to is six total fuel, one hydrogen, one helium, six fuel, and it only costs you one fuel to make that happen. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to do that uh, until I have exhausted this planet. Again, this is kind of tedious, but... It, uh, it's, it's worth doing um, from what I've found in this game <laughs> I have not beat it yet so any little bit of fuel any edge you can get you want to take advantage of it seems so um, let me go ahead and dump the hydrogen in get that topped off and we'll go back to the system here uh, there's a rocky planet um, I don't have much iron left uh, in my hull it's, it's not terrible but you want to keep that high uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and land on that rocky planet land there and let's go ahead and drill I'll go ahead and spend six fuel and wow look at all that iron so definitely worth definitely worth doing that um, the hafnium is valuable um, and the carbon is not so much so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the carbon grab the hafnium um, I think it's probably worth considering I hit 27 iron that shot I'm gonna go ahead and drill again um, this time I'm gonna only spend four um, seven iron not the greatest, but iron uh, is definitely, definitely important, so um, it was worth my time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dump those 17 in, get my hull all patched up here, and uh, I'm ready to head over to the next planet. Or, excuse me, uh, the next uh, solar system. So 
so you can do that directly from here. Or at least I thought you could. Go ahead and take off. All right. Well, I think uh, this is uh, this video is probably about as long as it should be. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Um, if you liked, go ahead and uh, subscribe and comment. I don't know how many more of these I'm gonna make, but. Um, if you enjoyed it, you found it helpful, let me know. Um, definitely, if you saw something I wasn't doing right, uh, let me know because, uh, like I said, I've been having trouble getting very far in this game, so let me know. Thanks, guys.